Adobe FrameMaker Feature Spotlight, Next Generation HTML5 Layouts, Presentation Impacts Perception, and with FrameMaker's cutting-edge responsive output for mobile and screens, you ensure that your content will always be viewed in the most favorable way possible. For example, check out our Personal Spaceship User Guide. Even reading the legal section lets you know that this is satirical content. Yet it still has a number of tags for things like user type, product model, and placed media. In this video, I'll step through some of the publishing options to see if we can polish up the output for mobile devices just a bit. By using the Change Settings function in the Publish panel, I can choose from and edit a number of high-quality, customizable layouts. Azure Blue is already close to my corporate branding, so I'll let that choice remain. But within that layout, I can edit some of the options. Note each layout component has a different preview and different options. Media Query sets the point at which my layout will change to accommodate mobile users, tablet, or desktop users. Among the things I can do in the header, I can identify my corporate logo. Since we added the logo to the header, we'll also use a similar graphic to show up in the tab within our browser. And perhaps the slickest part of these layouts, dynamic content filtering. FrameMaker allows you to leverage the conditional text that we saw in our documents to provide users with dynamic filtering of the content. Here you can see that we've given the user the option to choose between the models available of the product as well as what, if any, additional media they want to look at within the documentation. They might, for instance, want to omit video in areas where they don't have a great network connection. This puts the user in charge of their individual experience, customizing what they see or don't see based upon your provided options. As the author, you set the categories, the choices, and the defaults. I'll wrap this up. And because the condition indicators shown are for my ease of authoring, I'll turn those off Save changes, and then process the file. When I open my file in a browser, all the changes I made earlier are there, and the page itself reacts to the orientation, or more accurately, the width of the window in which I view it. When my window is roughly the size of a landscape tablet, you can see that my navigational controls go to where my thumbs would be on the screen. Likewise, when my screen is the approximate size of a phone, navigation controls are at the top and they're also collapsed to make it easier to get to the content when not needing to use the navigational control. And finally, to wrap up, looking at the filtering options within the legal file, currently I'm looking at my base model and it shows me that I have a well-appointed spaceship. However, if I switch to the luxury model, along with all the other changes that are made throughout my document, the phrase well-appointed is replaced with luxuriously appointed. All in all, with responsive design, the ability to customize nearly everything in your layout, and the option to give your users dynamic content filtering, what you end up with is something pretty special. It looks and acts more like a mobile app than a web page. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.